Hey guys, Ashley Seeger here, Spartan SGX coach from Palmdale, California. Today we're going to be talking about dynamic warm up. So, dynamic warm ups are great uh, before a run, before any workout, um, or just to get that body warmed up during the day. So, we're going to start with a few basic exercises that's going to help us get into our workout. So, first things first is making sure you are hydrated, you have good nutrition, and you are fueling your body properly for your workout. So once you got that done, check, we're gonna go into our dynamic warm up. So first things we're gonna get into is our lateral lunge. We're gonna open up those hips, activate the glutes. So as you take a step to the side, you're gonna go ahead and make sure your feet are even, toes are pointed forward. You're gonna lunge into one leg, touch the floor, and then come up. Now if you're doing it in place, you could stay here, lunge and touch down, come up, squeeze those glutes each time you come up, and you can alternate. Our, our heels stay in engage to the floor so we keep those heels nice and steady into the floor now after you know you do that you could get into some movement as you lunge you could come up and pivot and go to the other side right so then you're traveling forward now our next one is a lunge with a reach so as we go forward we're going to take a big nice lunge take that knee to the floor reach those arms up open up those hips squeeze that glute whichever leg is back squeeze that glute feel that hip open up reach those arms up, come up, push that front leg, and then also go into the next one. Now, you, as you're traveling and you reach up, eventually you could take that knee up as you feel comfortable with your balance. Then we have our inchworms with up dog, down dog. So as we're here, we're gonna take our feet to the floor, hands walk down, walk it out, and then we're gonna release down, coming up, up dog, and then pushing back, down dog. Walking our feet back to our hands, and then again, we walk it back out to another inchworm into that up dog, down dog. Then we have our split squat or reverse lunge. So if you have a, a, something to put your leg onto, you can take a big step back, nice and wide, making sure your legs are wide. Chest is up, focusing on your posture. So we always wanna practice great posture. So shoulders are back, core is tight. Now as we come down, as we lunge down, we're pushing through that front heel as we come up. So you can lunge down, drive that front heel, and then you can do about five to 10. If you don't have something to use, just take a reverse lunge, okay, come up, bring your foot up, or come up to balance. So again, reverse lunge, come up to balance. Making sure you're going wide enough, and as you drive through that front heel, you're acting, activating the glutes and the hamstrings. Now about five to 10 on each leg. Now, and then we have our Frankensteins. So as we kick that leg up, so left leg goes up, right arm reaches out. So as we kick that leg up, you wanna control on the way down. Kick and control on the way down. So you wanna get some power through the kick, activating your core and your hips and your quad. So again, nice kick and come down. Always control it on that way down. Just don't let that leg fall down. Then we have our butt kicks. So from there, do about 10 to 20 of those Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein's butt kicks. You can take your hands to your butt, use it as a target. So heels to those hands, right? So we're activating our hamstrings. You could do it in place slow, and then once you feel comfortable, you could add the jog, right? Kicking those legs up, activating those hamstrings, starting to get that heart rate up. And then we have our high knees. So high knees, again, you could stay in place. Knees come up, you could just bring those knees up in place depending on your ability, right? So we have that option. Keep it here, or you could keep your chest up, and then we start jogging in place, getting those knees up, adding more movement. All right, so again, probably about 20 total, and then after that, you've done about, about seven exercises just to get that heart rate up, get that body moving, and then the last one is one of my favorites. Nice big lunge, take a lunge, hands down to the floor, and rotate. Open up the chest, stretching out the inner thighs, opening up the spine, and then take a big step, reach for those toes, stretch out the hamstrings, go into the next one, hands to the floor, and then rotate. Open up those hips, inner thighs, and stretch out the spine. And then again, reaching for those toes, stretching out the hamstrings. All right, so by the time you do that, you could incorporate that. That's one of my favorites. If you get that one done first, go into your lateral lunges. Lunges with your reaching up. Again, focus on that exhale, reach up. And then we have our inchworms with up dog, down dog. 
we have our split squats, we have our Frankensteins, and then we have our butt kicks and high knees. So making sure you guys are focusing on your breath, keeping it slow and controlled. Your heart rate should never get too high in the dyna uh, dynamic warm-up, maybe around moderate, all right? So nothing too hard yet. And then always make sure that you're warming up before a workout. Some of us get so consumed with how much time we have and we go straight into our workout. Now, if we just go straight into our workout and then get done with our run, whatever we were doing, and not properly warm up or cool down, we're at risk for injury. Now, I have an injury, right? So it was kind of blunt force that happened. So it wasn't because I wasn't warming up or cooling down. But I want to avoid any any other injury. So I'm going to warm up properly before any run. I'm going to warm up properly before any lifting session. And I want to make sure that my body is ready to take on whatever I'm about to put it through. So again, making sure a proper warm up, making sure you're having a proper cool down. So I will be posting some great cool down stretches to do uh, post run. So make sure you keep an eye out on the page for that. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. Um, if you have any other questions, make sure you put that again in the comments and then we will get in touch with you. So um, again, if you have any questions, hope to see you asking and I would love to help you guys out. So again, have a great day and enjoy your warm up.